Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to my home. We are getting ready for Shabbat. It is Friday morning, yay! Yay! It is Friday morning right now and it's um, a cold, like cold-ish for May. May? June? What month are we in? It's cold-ish for, and raining for, for this time of year. Um, but that kind of matches the mood of the week. I think you guys are probably watching this one week behind. So um, hopefully it is a better week to come than what we've experienced this week. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was going to have a chill Shabbat, and it won't be a chill Shabbat, but I was like, you know what? We need to make challah this week because that, that is the way we pray. That is the way we communicate to God when we really need strength and love and joy this Shabbat. So we are going to bake challah and we're going to clean the house and make dinner and just get ready for Shabbat. So I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope you have had a good week, a restful and peaceful week and let's have a Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just need to start out by saying I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little crazy, but our whole family got COVID since I filmed this video and I'm now doing this voiceover. I'm here with my baby. Yeah. Um, so thankfully we are all almost better now. I just have sort of a lingering cough and my voice just, I lost my voice a little bit. So I just want to make that apology. <laughs> That's what's happened in the past week. But here is my challah recipe. It's the same one I make every week, only I clearly messed up the measuring right there for a second, but <laughs> it's just my regular traditional challah recipe I use every week. I start by putting the yeast in the water, and I think I talk about this later in this video, but I use the rapid dry yeast that goes in the refrigerator that you like keep for a few months instead of the packets, um, and I go back and forth on which one I like better but other than that just follow my easy recipe you really can't mess it up I have so many videos and instructions about it and I'll link them below but if you're looking for a like first time to try and make challah recipe I really recommend it I always get comments and emails from people saying thank you so much like the recipe was so easy and delicious um so yeah so if you're like have thought about making challah before but aren't sure definitely try my recipe and also you can make it while holding a baby and running around the kitchen and doing everything else at the same time which is how i usually am making it And once the dough has all come together, I usually just put it in a warm spot in the kitchen, like here next to my oven, covering it in my challah cover cloth, and then I'm just making some lunch for me and the baby. We're just having some eggs, um, and I just put in this little bit of us eating lunch. I think it's so cute, these everyday little moments with mama and babe, but yeah, just our lunch. And then after the challah has risen, I'm just kneading it again with my hands and then I'm going to do a really simple braid, just cut it into three even pieces and braid it together. So a lot of people use flour at this step to keep the dough from like sticking to their hands and the board. I prefer oil. When you add flour to um, your hands at this point, you're adding flour into the dough mixture itself. And in my opinion, it makes the challah dough a little too dry. Like it's got the perfect amount of flour. And if you add too much while you're working with it, it's gonna mess it up. So that's why I go with oil and I'm just doing it on our like marble counters. You can also do it on a wooden cutting board surface that's fine too uh, but just a touch of oil it won't stick at all it's perfect then by the way I made this egg wash and I was like wait never mind I need it to rise more <laughs> so I just covered with the cloth and it's gonna rise and then I'm working on our dishes dishes always doing those dishes um there actually weren't too many this week but I mean every day every day the dishes go on and on <laughs> 
can you guys tell I've been locked in my house for the past four days? Um, but yeah, doing the dishes, and I'm just gonna let the music play because I got no chat, guys. I'm just thankful our family's feeling better. But oh my goodness, oh, here I said I didn't have anything to talk about, and I'm talking more. It was such a bad week for us to all go down with COVID. It was my son's preschool graduation and we had to miss it and their last days of school and there were all these like parties planned and things we had been ready for and you know i bought the outfits for graduation three months ago <laughs> we had all our outfits ready to go and all these special things to do and my husband had some special thing to do so ugh, it was just a unfortunate timing but thankfully we're fine it's just how it goes and, but yeah it was just a little sad okay back to the dishes get it all done no matter what you're feeling guys just get those dishes done Okay, so the kitchen is basically clean, at least this side of it is. Um, I still have to um, make dinner, obviously, so I haven't finished the island yet, but it's in pretty good shape. My challah is rising back there, but it's already braided and done. The baby's had his nap. We need to go pick up the big brothers from preschool, and that's that, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So I just got back from my first preschool pickup and I have my second, but the my dough, my braided challah dough has been rising for, I guess almost two hours right now. And I just wanted to show you how it looks, the two hour rise. Maybe I'll do a quick cut to when I first um, braided it so you can see. I use, in case it wasn't clear in the little speed up, in that little speedy dd here's my holla recipe thing um the uh, fleischmann's active dry yeast in the refrigerator because i don't have to buy like a thousand envelopes but i really do believe this i think it the envelopes have more rise to them but i'm not such a big riser <laughs> like i i do a lot of creative things with my hala. i do different shapes and stuff so for tonight like i would like more rise tonight is like a plain hala, simple braid i want it puffed up to the heavens but other times i don't want it to rise that much because i want to do like intricate designs so i keep the stuff in the fridge but i really should get some packets um and i've heard actually red baron is the best one is that what's called red baron um for days like today when i want it to slow pump it up also because it's a cold day it's not getting that much like warm air to rise um whereas if it was but i also like don't have the heat on it's not that cold if i did have the heat on i would put it next to a vent sometimes that helps too all right enough chit chat let's go get the boats boys what's inside it okay let's see what's inside the box it's a toy hey <laughs> i want that and dad went back to work, Cory. So as you can see, the boys are home playing with the giant box. And um, the challah rose even more. So maybe I was too quick to judge my refrigerator yeast because it definitely is bigger. Um, guys. I'm gonna have to turn this video on mute. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna just put the egg wash on the challah, pop it in the oven, and start on the dinner, and deal with all that craziness. The boys' school pictures also came home today. 
look how handsome they are. And then they did a um, sibling picture. We brought in Zachary in the morning to take pictures with them. And they got this keychain. This is a magnet. Oh my goodness. Just what I needed this week. Some beautiful pictures. My beautiful boys. Uh, what's going on in this box? It's talking. This box is talking. Hello. Hello. Okay, so after the challah had time to rise in its braided shape, I'm just adding the egg wash before I pop it into the oven. You could also add a topping at this point, like sesame seeds or everything spice or a sweet topping, whatever you like. Um, and then while that's cooking in the oven, I'm making lecho. I don't know if you guys have ever had this before. It's basically a vegetable dish with tomatoes. So you saute the vegetables and then you add in canned tomatoes and it makes this really rich and delicious sauce. Um, almost like a, something between a side dish and a sauce. Also, Corey's coming by to steal peppers here. <laughs> So cute. Um, but yeah, so I make the lecho and it goes on top of our salmon for Friday nights. It's really delicious, it's really healthy, and I definitely recommend trying this. There almost isn't even a recipe to it. You basically just chop off your vegetables, onions and peppers are the main ones, and saute them until they get really like well done, translucent onions and the peppers are totally cooked through. And then you add in a jar of canned tomatoes and tomato paste and then you just really spice it how you like but like keep it simple because the vegetables kind of sing for themselves in the dish um salt and pepper a little paprika that kind of thing um but you don't need much more than that i added a touch of sugar um but it really really is delicious without too much seasoning Slow, slow, slow. This is kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. This is miss, hug, miss, hug, hug. 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 This, this is miss, miss. This is bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. So this is what the lecho looks like when it comes together. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna put it on top of our salmon. So into the oven goes the salmon. Um, you cook it separately from the lecho. I just season it with a little salt and pepper and um, olive oil and lemon. And yes, those are chicken nuggets next to it. No, my five and three-year-old boys are not eating salmon and lecho. Although actually they did try some. Some of them tried some. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it. So bake the salmon separately and then add in the lecho on top. Okay, and here is my gorgeous haul out the oven. She was a big girl this week. Oh my goodness, She's really puffed up <laughs> and shiny. I was very pleased um, and really delicious. It's always funny, like the challah tastes just slightly different each week depending on how it rose and exactly the way it was braided and everything, but always delicious. So there it is under the challah cover with our Shabbos candles and wine ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you guys what our dinner looked like, the salmon and the lecho, and we had it with rice, it was so good. So that's us, all sorted for Shabbat. The boys are in the next room watching some Paw Patrol. Dinner is done and ready to go. Um, you saw the challah and the candles and the kiddush cup, so that's all. I really, really hope next week is a better week than this week has been. And just sending so much love out to you if you're struggling um, with all these dark times around us. And wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. And I'll be here in my next video. I'll see you next time. Bye!